Louise Houghton. Welcome to the weekend and to a show which kicks off the glitzy world of theatre here in Berlin. First, though, we have a few questions on what's coming up. Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's a well-known name in the world of fashion. In 2014, the French designer retired from the Pret-a-Porter business to concentrate on haute couture and new projects. One such project premiered in Berlin on Thursday. There were 500 costumes needed for the one grand show, but this was a welcome challenge for Jean-Paul Gaultier. And we stay on the theme of performance now as we dive into our daily dose of Express News. Berlin is full of visitors this weekend, and if it's not for the premiere we showed you at the top of the show, then it's likely because they are fans of old-timers. This is the reason. There is, of course, loads to see, but there's one car catching everyone's eye, and not necessarily for the right reason. <laughs> Now, I'm sure most of you have heard of Lord of the Rings, books and films. Well, how would you like to be in one of them? It is almost possible. A group of fantasy fans get together near Hanover in Germany and dress up as these kinds of characters. They act in their roles for the entire length of their stay. And with the protection of their disguise, they develop skills that they can take home and use in their modern day lives. I can see the desire of forgetting all your worries and being someone else for the day. Fancy dress is fun, and we've been asking you to send in photos of you dressed up all week. Thank Congratulations to you, Denise. I hope this set gets to you before Halloween so you can play around with it then. I would high-five you if I could, but instead, let's check out what is in our High Five series this week. Well, although our High Five series can sometimes be comical, it's also educational. And in view of the upcoming Frankfurt Book Fair this month, we decided to take a look at how literature has influenced the world of music. As you're about to see, it's a lot more than you might think. Now, we end the show today with a surprise. Who would have thought that off the southwest coast of Britain, you could grow tropical plants? The Scilly Isles seem to have a climate of their own and the botanical gardens there have managed to nurture plants from all around the world that would usually not survive in the traditional British climate. Having heard it was so beautiful, we wanted to see it for ourselves. And if you want to see the many other places that Euromax have visited, then you can have a look at our website. For now, though, from all of the team here in Berlin, have a great weekend and goodbye.